September 9, the Europe de l'Enfance Expert Conference took place in a palace in Antwerp. As carrier of the EU presidency, Belgium offered experts a platform for discussion. Furthermore, the expert conference discussed the strategy of the new Commission communication and the topics of early childhood education and care services. My main concern on the agenda today is that they advance and they come with good recommendations for us ministers. That's why, why we have experts. I mean, they have to give food uh, for inspiration for us. We need it and the most important thing is that we, we try to, uh, to coordinate all the different international agendas on, on, on youth and children's rights so that uh, you can mainstream a bit and that's one of the aims of today. My main uh concern and interest of today is the comparison and possible synergies between the European and international policy agendas on children, youth and children's rights. And I expect that uh, the people in the workshops uh, will reflect on these um, possible synergies, will give their ideas, their input, and that then tonight uh, we can uh, draw some uh, general conclusions of it that then can be taken to the ministerial conference. expectations on this conference because uh, there is a lot of good experts here and we have had good discussions and I think one of the good things is that uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, the same ways of thinking about how to combine children's agendas and youth policy agendas. I think one major problem that we see in all European work is the language barriers. Uh, we have very good reports in different countries, but they are in their own national languages, and those are not readily available then to others. We had uh, need three questions in the discussion. We had the uh, first question was, uh, what's the relation between poverty and social exclusion and uh, isn't there a risk of reducing the poverty problem to a problem of social exclusion because poverty is mainly an income problem and how do we bring that income problem back into the debate. The second question was do we need a special focus on child poverty and are there any risks involved? Uh, a risk might be that we tend to blame for instance adults or forget about poverty of adults and uh, look at it as an individual rather than a macroeconomic problem. And the third question was what kind of knowledge do we need uh, on poverty? Uh, knowledge of poor people themselves but how do we interact with that knowledge? Can we look critical at that knowledge as well? Uh, so what kind of knowledge insights do we need in, in poverty? I think my main concern was partly that we would not be able to find a common ground for the discussions, that the people from the youth field on the other hand, the children's field on the other, would, would be into different worlds in a way. I think it's always, it's challenging as well as rewarding when bringing together people from very different backgrounds. I am probably the youngest participant here today being being only 25 even if if that's quite old looking at participation of, of children and young people I mean we, we would like to have structures enabling much younger people to to participate an event like this is extremely important to bring together uh, member states in pulling the agenda together on children's rights and youth participation. I attended a workshop today on setting objectives for children's rights and youth participation. I think it was important to get um, perspective from all member states on how we can um, move the um, policy along. <laughs>